Hi, I'm Katie Pasquini Masapus, and I'm an instructor for iQuilt. And in my class, we paint canvas with acrylic paint, make beautiful imagery of marks, adding fabric, and have a lot of fun with that. And then we can make constructions from those canvases. So we can make art pieces for the wall, we can make little bags. I'm going to show you how to cover a book. So you have just a regular binder that's not very exciting, but this is one full piece of canvas that I've just put onto the binder to make a nice cover. So I'm going to show you how the easy way to do that. It's kind of like how we used to make book covers when we were in grammar school with the brown paper, only we're using these beautiful canvases to do it. So first, you cut your canvas a little bit bigger than the book that you want to use, and then you start by laying the front cover of the book flat on the canvas, draw around it with a pen, and make note where the binding is. Then you have to lift it up without, mo without sliding it, draw the binding, make note where the other edge is, then lay this over flat and draw the other side. This allows you to have the give that you're going to need so that you can close your book after you get this glued on. Then you need to have um, points. This is a rounded cover, and so because the canvas doesn't go around corners, you just let yourself know where the point would be if that was a square binding or edge of the cover. And then you need to cut out where the binding goes. So those little marks you did for where the binding is, just clip a little wedge. And then you need to cut the corners off. And so I use the little 45 degree angle on the ruler, line it up along the drawn line and to the point, and I don't even need to use the pin, I can just use the cutter to pull that off. So cut off all four corners. And then the trick to get this to work is this stuff called Yes Paste. And it's acid free and it's for book binding. You get it at a craft store. And it's very sticky, so I'll put a piece of paper down so I don't ruin my mat. And pull up some of this on a popsicle stick. And just smear it along that little flange on all three sides. You just do half at a time, otherwise, you get sticky stuff everywhere. And then put your little book down. Um, I like to put a rubber band in it before I actually glue it in so that I can go to the center and put like a little, one of those little calendars. And so that it becomes sort of like a, a planner for me. So line that up with the line. Pull that edge over on all three sides. And then use these little clippies to hold it in place. And then, to make sure it's attached, just go and make sure the glue and the book have the canvas attached nice and tight. And then do the same thing on the other side, and let the glue dry, and then you have a great little book. Here's my little daily planner that I covered to show you how I stick that calendar in there. And these make wonderful gifts, because there's something handmade by yourself that you painted, made into the book, and given as a gift. So I hope you join me for my class at iQuilt. Thanks. <music> <laughs>